Greetings everybody and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. Last episode I was about to uh, make a new division. So what I'm going to do, can I say edit and then something about, yeah, duplicate. But we're going to take it with the colonial and then say duplicate and then, um, what should we call it, border guards. And instead of that, it will be a tower to represent we are defending. And we're going to add MPs. We're going to save this template. And we have border guards. Now, I want to build some of those in the near, near future. But it will be after the war. We want to finish this up. And then we will, um, yeah, build some border guards to maintain order in this area. We have some new infantry that needs to be assigned here, and we probably also have some ready here. Actually, only one. No, not only one. So, yeah. Go join. And I will be taking five into five, and you will be joining. Hmm, maybe I should just take 10. They're going to cover a lot of area. New. Go. Whoop. Go here, new front. Go, oh, trust that. Ah, there we go, and then make front line, and then we're going to say this will, no, no, it's taking, okay, I'm going to make my own then. Why can't I? I think this is really hard to do. There we go. Nope. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. And then we're going to assign those 10. And out of those, I'll take three of them and say go here so seven and three yes good so East Africa is totally secure now it should not be needing any more troops uh, now and even in the war I don't think we'll be adding any more than that we we'll just try and advance our way down to help them <clears throat> if you're wondering why the screen is uh, grey when I start up, it's because when I start recording it's F9 and in this game it's victory point screen, I believe. No, factions, so that's why. But we're doing quite well in uh, Yugoslavia. We should win quite soon. Should we Germany? Quite happy about that. I could make claims on that when uh, <clears throat> they come to that. Not interested in that. Ooh. Yes. And they agreed. Awesome. So that's definitely going to help because um, if we look, we'll have a debuff to all of these, so that's going to be pretty damn potent. 
But yeah, we're going to finish up the war, and after that, we will begin to rethink uh, what we need to do. And all of you will be going to North Africa now. I will actually make this and say new and call you North Africa. Africa. There we go. And you will have. A big ass front line. Yeah, I know. And um, we could actually five and five. There we go. Five on each. It's not a lot, but it's the beginning. <laughs> um, thirty-nine. We're not there yet. Actually, we're actually far from it. Pathetic. Oh, let's do it. So, we are getting a bit stronger by doing this, we're getting all of Yugoslavia's factories. We just need to be able to control um, their, what's called, resistance. So, I think actually already now, I will train one of these and I will say, total of five. And you will be coming here in Veneto. And we don't need to train these guys. It's not necessary. It may be wrong thing not to do in the future, but for now we will not be doing it. We can modify our government. What do we want? Ship design, aircraft designer. Yes. We want better aircrafts. Thanks. So, Yugoslavia. Um, if I'm going to take all, we are probably going to start World War II quite, quite soon. Um, oh, no, it's going to 71. Hmm. But I want it. <sighs> It'll make us so much stronger. You know what? I'm going to do it. I don't care if World War II starts early. Done. Pause. So, well, tension just rose quite a bit. And our North Italian theater will have a new front line. And you will go here. And you will also have a new front line, which will be going here. Very good. And all our planes. You will be going actually just remove it. Yeah, I know. So we got some military factories, we got some <coughs> sorry, um yeah, put those. Nah, yeah, sure. More dockyards as well. Hmm. More destroyers. Yeah, we pretty much should sure have. Shouldn't all our planes be that? We got no planes assigned, yes. So, should we prepare for the war to come? Which will be naval bombers, which will be fighters. And this is the good ones. And here I want the bad ones. Yes. And where do I want to... Hmm. <coughs> Sorry. Um. Do 
do I want interwar bombers I'm probably not going to advance in France so I'm just going to keep those to protect my northern area so yeah I'm probably going to say station everyone here and you yeah and they are flying out very good and you are going to have a limp how many of the old ones do I have um, I want a list a good fighter I got 212 very good <clears throat> now I want 500 at least of fighters I want 250 to begin with <clears throat> I want 500 and I want well you got that so let's say 400 <clears throat> just to go over the limits at least very good and you are moving out very good and you are what colonial well you have to train and you have finished um, I think we'll need more over here to be honest 31 yeah it seems about a good size and I think we will be not stopping but we'll be making one queue more and that's it of that right now so we're looking quite good and I think after this one has been made well we'll keep making them for a bit not long so they are not resisting my occupation anymore which is quite interesting actually um, you I actually think you will be helping here as well and you have no 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 you no yeah yes yes sorry go here and then here and then here and then here uh, no there you go so this will be your objective and your objective will be go here and then and go here and you will be going here and then you will be going here very good has finished very good <coughs> my s voice is getting a bit frass at the moment I'm sorry about that but I have been ill and still have some degree of it and I'm getting better so don't worry um, <coughs> but yeah it's annoying when you are ill and you have weather like 27 degrees um, of Nanjing. Whoa, so Japan is doing quite well, it seems. Yeah, they're doing quite well, not bad. So we gain a lot of army experience and some air experience. And what we can use that for, and you have a cap at 500, but, <clears throat> but what you can use it for is when you are making a new production line, let's say of this, and then you can create a variant where you can improve the reliability, the engine, the armor, or the cannon. 
and that takes some experience to improve that so you gain that as you fight in wall which I think is pretty brilliant system they have made now I haven't tried to use it but I love the idea about it so it's going to be interesting to see if I think as great about it as I think I will because it's not guaranteed of course yeah build three down here here, so we are building a lot of um, <clears throat> military factories and we want some anti-air in the north because I have, a, I have a funny feeling we're going to be bombed and let's get some radar as well to help spot them. So we have a big hue now. Yeah, doing well. We have a big German military operation. What does that? Yes, land dark train and air dark train research time is decreased, which is awesome. Now, we want. What do we want? If yeah, what are those? Before I get too excited is the C202 in there because if it is I'm going to be very excited it is <clears throat> so we're definitely going to take this because it will make us easier to gain better um, cool get better uh, airplanes so love that very good and we already have what we want over here at the moment. 39. We are building that. We are not here. We're doing air. No, we are not. We should. Okay. Industry. 39. So, yeah. 38. Mm, might as well. So yeah, we are, we are doing quite well in our pre preparation, I think. <coughs> and we will soon have more troops ready. <coughs> this will be my last recording of today because my throat is simply starting to stop, uh, or my voice is simply starting to not work, as you can hear. It's getting more and more trashed. Um, I don't know why. It's a pity because I want to play this even more, but I can't do it uh, without recording this one. So I'll probably begin one uh, solo, which faction? I don't know. Um, but I'm probably going to play this rest of the day and I still got about two hours until I go to sleep, I think. So that's going to be interesting. We finished our fuel. Let's get the second one. 119 days, not bad. And quite expensive, really. Hmm. Well, we're going to wait, build that until we have secured a bit more. Actually, I realized one thing we are missing Marines. We want Marines because we've got a whole bunch of islands like the little one of France, Malta, all of those of the Greeks. So, that is one research we haven't done yet that is quite needed. Very good, we're gaining a lot of troops ready quite, quite soon. <clears throat> now, we could be making claims all over, but I think we're taking a break there. Because I think many uh, nations like the UK or France would guarantee a lot of nations. So, <clears throat> we're going to hold back on that. Let's get some more fighters. Again, we're going to need it against the, the British might. Like we have, uh, don't show this again. Where did we see our total? Was it now? I know where I saw of the British. Yeah, they have 877 to 1800, but not that many ground units. That's quite surprising. We have more 
35, that can be right. We have 37. Do we have a better economy than Britain? Like preparing for war? That would be insane. Hmm, interesting. But I can't recall where <coughs> I saw ourselves in this uh, list. It was somewhere, wasn't it? No. I'm pretty sure I saw it somewhere, but I can't remember. Now I'm curious. <clears throat> Didn't we see a list of ourselves? There we go. So we got 1,900, uh, 1,099 airplanes. Really? Do we have that many? I'm quite surprised, actually. Well, yeah, we have 300 tactical bombers. That is useless. Good amount of uh, close air support. Okay, with fighters in the north. We need a lot of, lot of fighters. Like, we have many variations of airplanes, which is good, but <laughs> not really. We must have something to finish here. Yes, we do. So, there we go, and we want you to join. There we go. <coughs> and we have, let's say, one, two, three, four, five. You'll be joining over here. Now, if you think um, the music is a bit loud, I can turn it down. The issue with that is some of the great artistic uh, music in here is quite low and some is quite high. So, yeah. Let's put it at 5, so when we get the next military factory, we'll just directly go in there. So we have 19 in North Africa, and we've got 35 in uh, Ethiopia. Low surprise, really. That's not good. Modify government. What do we want to modify this time? Hmm, <clears throat> the penalty for bad weather is pretty damn good. Experience is also very good. Age generation, that's also very good. Hmm, pretty sure I know what I'm going to take here. <clears throat> but I'm not sure we're ready to do that. Might as well take this research time. You know, it's quite important. We're still a year away and world tension hasn't risen for a while. So, we seem to be doing quite okay. You might as well join this front as well. Um, but yeah, our manpower is doing okay-ish. I think... Production... Oh, here. I think we'll only be making one of these and we'll only be making one more of each of those and after that we'll hold our production on that and maybe see what we need after that i think more regular infantry would be good what can i do about low supplies so i could be improving yeah, let's do that. Don't know if, if it will help that much. <coughs> Not more yet. So the Munich. So they made an alliance. Interesting. And we got our air innovations. Very good. I don't care about that right now. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I want to improve our infrastructure. It will help with the 
<coughs> um, supplies in the area and not only that it's more about um, more oil but also Libyan this I want to help the industry down in the north it should help quite a lot so more military factories done awesome how much do we have good surplus of equipment likewise here and also tanks that's also pretty damn good what we need the most actually is fighters which is not surprising let's say a whole line go build it up and <coughs> bottom me when we get to that again yeah we're doing quite good I think except my throat is doing terribly and I'm very sorry if it uh, sounds horrendous but I can't really do that much about it I don't know if did we hmm no the bottle guys haven't been made okay so just me being a dark or something like that Definitely, better decryption and encryption. <clears throat> That's going to be very key for us. But we can now already now see what the French actually have. Two, seven, one, three, one, four, four. So we have definitely more on that front. Germany, you need to prepare more, man. You're not ready. The Greece, well, we should overrun them. We are in need of rubber. Well, how many are we now trading away? Um, seven. Well, we have 60. 60. That's quite a lot, actually. I didn't think we had that much, but we are also using quite a bit on consumers' goods. Oh, we are gaining 7 from trade. Interesting. Well, we're definitely going to need to gain some oil. Uh, resource map? Yes. So Iraq have quite a lot. So we're going to take all of this is the idea. And we also want to take Iran's, but most importantly, we want when the war begins with the Soviet Union, create a defensive line here where just take the chromium and the oil from them, and then they can slowly starve out of that, and then we can make a push later on. That's the idea. If it's going to happen, that's a whole other question, because we have a great player over here. Ooh, they are not happy about us. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Common turn, yeah. I'm not sure which map mo before it was diplomatic, but it seems kind of weird right now. So I think I'll go with factions. <coughs> seems a bit better to me. Round assault, very good. Now, do we want assault? Seems quite decent. We'll be better fighting at night. That's also pretty damn good. I think we'll be going this way. Okay and go for in decryption very good and now we'll be heading into 39 so a lot of things is going to be needed at that point like um i would not say uh, well no not tanks actually if i recall correctly isn't that 1940 no it is 39 it yeah that makes more sense <clears throat> so how many tanks do we have? So we have enough for a division actually, don't we? So 
so train it's going to take only 60 wait what 60 e excuse me 60 oh oh we're going to change all of this yeah this this is going to be our template <clears throat> yes so high priority on upgrades right now very good prospect for oil might as well gains a bit <clears throat> so how much yeah now we are lacking quite a lot actually Damn it. How much infantry equipment do we actually have? A whole bunch actually. So let's actually stack down on that. And we have what? Oh no. We, well, yeah, sure. Do like this. The next five factories will be assigned to the light tanks and we can get some more out. All planned, very good. So we have not hit 39 yet. And we will not be able to save up 30 and take advantage of it in 39. That's a pity. Hmm. This is 1940, yes. Uh no. We are already... 38, 39. Marines, Marines. I actually totally forgot. I want Marines. Good. So we have something useful to do. Modified government. Mm. In interception. Well, that's pretty damn good. We want the age generation. We want to be good at finding in the air. We're going to be the safeguard. Okay, so you have finished. You will be joining this one. You five will be joining this line. And actually, I think I'll redo them quite a bit because I'm not sure if they actually will even come and attack me, you know, here. But the good thing by maybe I should divide this up even more, like having having a uh, well, I'm not sure. Well, we'll discuss that in the next episode, but this will be it. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.